Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be going to Proper Fab Works. Not because we have to go there, but because they borrowed my toe plates and I never took them back. So we're driving the chaser up to Proper Fab Works and we're gonna be doing the front end alignment on it. And I'm gonna see what I can get out of the rear end. I really want to get the tire stood up straight. I just don't know how much camber adjustment we have in the factory arm. So we're probably gonna to have to go and get some FDF control arms for the rear. But in the front, we can for sure finalize the alignment, which I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just going for a zero so that the car drives good on the street. Once we start putting power into it and we start drifting it, at that point, we'll start making some fine tuned adjustments to the angle kit. Everything's balanced really well. Nothing's really shaking. The car just kind of pulls to the left and I can feel tension in the steering. It's not very soft. So kind of have an idea that it's towed in. It feels like towed out tends to like wander with every bump you hit. The car kind of jolts and pulls different directions. So when it's towed in, it kind of has a fighting on itself and it wants to stay kind of planted forward. So let's head to Prop Fabworks and get this thing zero. Tony hasn't seen the chaser yet. Don't look that way. Look that way. What? Just look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Stay focused on me, okay? Now go this way. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I promise I won't. Um, right here is good. That thing looks super clean. <laughs> it's missing an intercooler though. Shut up. I know. Sick. Dude, not bad. Uh, no, not bad at all. I just gotta get. I like how the front end is coming out. Yeah, it's rubbing, but it looks good. The rear, uh, I ordered the wrong size spacer. Uh, or I was gonna jump to ten and a half. Which I think I'm gonna jump to ten and a half and get a new spacer. But I think I'm gonna do ten and a half all the way around. Nice. Because these are nine and a halfs. But you haven't seen it since you cut the rear fenders. No. Like a person. Last time it was all white fenders. It looks really good. Yeah, now it's all black. I named the car, I came up with a name for it. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's, I named it um, Gary. With Gary's approval. Yeah, I named it Gary. Because he helped me get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's the reason why. Gotcha. gotcha. But yeah, he helped me get it. So I was like, you know what? Nice. Homage to Gary. Gary the Chaser. <laughs> it's crazy how, how these fenders kick in all. It looks good though. Oh, trippy. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Now it's just getting it to function. With the nine and a half, the tire still, it's just as tall as a 255. Like nothing really changed. You got a little bit of stretch in it, but it mm -hmm. didn't really change. It's almost identical. Nice. So I need to do 10 and a half all the way around and then get the rear spacer. That's legit. But yeah, I was like five spoke. Counts. Five spoke goes hard and white on this. AP5s? AP5C. What's the C? Concave. Oh. So there's an AP5 and it's a flat face with a lip. And then there's an AP5C with a concave. And the 10 and a half, AP5C? Dude, so much concave. It's freaking nice. Now you're giving it. All right, go down nice and slow. You might be able to put on the outside of those bolts, but. I know, that's what I was saying. It's, it's either, probably a three, it's either one it's probably either, a three person method at that point. Yeah, yeah so you handle the jack. Lean back. Now break it loose. Lean back like Fat Joe. Yeah, but not as fat. There we go. There we go, mate. 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 We are towed out. Not too much, but towed out. It's reading 79 and a half on the front and it's reading 79 and a quarter in the rear. So steering wheel's straight. So what I'll, what, I'll tech, what I'll typically do is I'll start to look at the car down the side of it and try to see which wheel is the wheel that's super out of whack. It looks like it's this one. This one looks like it's way out of whack because it's a rear rack system. 
what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be towing it out. The inner tie rod and the outer tie rod will make the adjustments. We'll figure out where we want to do them. Screwing it out in order to tow it in. It's all like flipped. If you have a front rack system, then when you screw it in, it tows in. When you screw it out, it tows out. On this setup, when you screw it in on a rear rack system, when you screw it in, it tows the front end out. And when you screw it out, it tows the front end in. So you got to keep that in mind. It does not like cross the board is how you do it. That's why typically when you see somebody say something, they go, it's a half inch towed out or a quarter inch towed in that measurement because universal but how you make the adjustment is depending on where your rack is and so with this one i can see that this tire is pointed out this direction so what i'll do is on the rear rack system i'll just pull it out and it'll force the front of the wheel to tow in so we should talk about that really fast for those of you who don't know when we're talking about tow you can actually think about it you hear that those are gunshots if you're thinking about toe, you can look at your feet, right? This is an easy way to understand it. If you're going to go positive toe, you're going cowboy. This is positive toe, right? It's toe out, positive. If you're gonna go negative toe, you're going pigeon toe, right? I typically stand towed out. I got more of a Western stance to me. The car is doing this. If you got the front right tire pretty straight, say, and the front left one's kind of doing this number here. So with the left wheel being towed out, naturally when you're driving, it scrubs to the center and both of them are towed out. So you want to center your steering wheel and then you're going to make your adjustments. Sometimes you're in like this, sometimes you're out, sometimes you're doing this. So what we got going on is our front right tire is pretty straight and our front left tire is towed out just a bit, meaning it has positive toe so we got to bring that back in get that alignment so people will hang out with us double check quarter inch off which means we're probably going to be somewhere at the three eighths it'll probably be 79 and three eighths when we're done so it's good to remember that number figure out what your track width actually is because then not recommended but you could throw a tape on like the front side of it and just like as long as it measures from one side to the other at that number then you're good to go but just obviously like to double tape it if you have the opportunity but in a pinch a little life hack for you you know your numbers you're only adjusting off of this side yeah because this side's towed out you can see it got it loose i thought you were adjusting it no that's just me breaking that back side loose your foot. <laughs> can you see it uh -huh. it needs to go in right uh -huh. which means that or it needs to go out to toe out the front yeah how's that um a little more i think that right there let's double check it it's like a sixteenth out just do like a eighth of a turn see what that eighth of a turn does the sixteenth out which means it needs to come out just a bit more see it yeah just barely so then i would tow i would go just a little bit out more to tow it in so I'm gonna tow it in just a little bit, huh? Right there, that should be it. How's that? That looks about good. Okay. Time to lock it down. Jesus is a friend of mine, Jesus is my friend. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So pretty simple. You're just looking when you're doing the front end alignment on your car and you have the two toe plates, which you can get for pretty cheap. You could also get them on Amazon. After you have those leaned up against your car, you have something like a wheel dolly. All you're doing is putting the two tapes in and you're looking for matching numbers. Or if you're trying to tow it out or tow it in, then you can see those adjustments. Pretty simple, but that's done. 